Hello, great people. Welcome to Telling Talks. Hello, great people. Hope you guys are doing well. My name is Miranti. I will be your host today session, and I'm so excited to inform you guys that this is our very first uh, episode for this talk session that we call Telling Talk. On this first episode, we will talk about Digital Marketing 101. As we all know, in this tough era, Digital Marketing become a new trend, so that for our first episode, we are having a speaker that has a lot of experience in doing marketing activities, including Digital Marketing. Welcome, Mas Bimo. Hello, Mir. Hello, good people. Thank you, Mas. So, before we start the talent talk, I would like to share you a little bit about our speaker's profile. Dewan Toro Bimo or we usually call him Mas Bim, is a marketing and business intelligence VP at Talin. He has joined Talin since 2013. Before starting his career in marketing field, Bimo spent more than five years in the interconnection and intercarrier operational area, also has known as a big data analyst, which is very different from marketing area. After successfully managing many responsibilities, Bimo now focuses on leading his team in marketing and business intelligence, among them handling marketing activities, including digital marketing. Besides, Bimo enjoys doing sports such as biking and other hobbies such as gardening and brewing. Just check on his Instagram. So, without further ado, let's have some chat with Mas Bimo related to our today's topic, digital marketing 101. Let's jump into the first question. Mas Bimo, how do you define digital marketing today? Um, okay, uh, basically, uh, digital marketing refers to any online marketing efforts, email marketing, um, online advertising, uh, social media marketing, and even blogging are all great examples of digital marketing. This help introduce people to your company and convince them to buy. Uh, well, digital marketing has been on the rise and continues to do so. Traditional marketing, I think, is still a key component to reaching the masses and creating top of mind awareness. Um, in my opinion, digital marketing does not replace uh, traditional marketing. Both of them are present together to fill each other roles, combining online and offline experience in the customer journey. And uh, and also be part of the uh, omnichannel communication between company and customers. Mm. Well, in practice, uh, digital marketing includes uh, managing digital, managing different forms of uh, online company presence, uh, like uh, such as a company website, uh, company apps, and also social media. Uh, this is aligned with all online communication techniques, including search engine marketing, uh, social media marketing, uh, online advertising, email marketing, and uh, anything partnership arrangement with other websites. Okay, thank you, Mas. So, another question. Why digital marketing? Yeah, uh, digital marketing is a great option of, for any business. At a disruptive area like now, we've used uh, digital marketing to help all kinds of business growth. That's the beauty of being online. Uh, if you know who you want to target, you can use digital marketing to communicate to your target audience all around the world, anytime and also at anywhere. <clears throat> uh, especially like Thailand, most uh, B2B companies have a very specific niche audience that can be hard to target using social media. Uh, in addition, most uh, B2B companies have a much longer and more, more involved uh, sales cycle than B2C companies. As a result, uh, longer term strategies like content marketing or email marketing are often uh, necessary to close a deal. And in terms of measurement of marketing acti activities, uh, prior to digital marketing, we knew if uh, our advertising was working based on increasing sales. That's all. This is still the primary indicator to determine if your marketing is working or not. But uh, with digital media, we have much more useful data to improve our marketing Yeah, uh, based on insights. Uh, like 
yeah, you know how many people click through uh, Telegram website, how many impression or engagement created from any campaign in Thailand social media, or even uh, a conversion rate that made a customer buy our product and also our service. Okay, so does digital marketing work for all business? Hmm. Yeah, uh, I think digital marketing can work for any business in any industry. Regardless of what your company sells, digital marketing still involves building out buyer personas to identify your audience needs and also creating valuable online content. Uh, however, that's not to say that all business should implement a digital marketing strategy in the same way. The field of marketing is buzzing, especially digital marketing. Uh, the popularity and the use of digital marketing have changed the landscape, especially during COVID-19 pandemics like this, where we have plenty of limitation. Anyway, uh, in short, uh, digital marketing is an almighty gateway between automated technology and art and also marketing psychology. If we want to manage the information of our company and how to like stand out, we have to make sure that digital marketing strategy is integrated in uh, our company marketing plans. And for B2B company like Thailand, we should be understand that the landscape and be more sophisticated in terms of giving out uh, information about our products, our services that are being offered. <clears throat> we should uh, provide a particular offer with an objective to grow the company. Uh, therefore, as marketers, when conveying information through digital media, we have to define how the information can uh, boost a message about product or service, or yeah, at least um, stay competitive in the long run in the industry. So, what you have done as marketing and business intelligence VP? Okay, uh, I have started to manage a uh, unit um, marketing and business intelligence right at uh, the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemics uh, in February or March 2020. And so I have to adjust to this condition. Usually, <clears throat> most of the activities are done by traditional marketing. But because of the pandemic condition, cause us so many limitation in doing it. Uh, I have to switch all marketing activities to mostly digital terms. Because, uh, yeah, you know, traditional marketing activities cannot run normally. So that I began to focus on developing and enhancing our existing digital marketing activities, uh, such as uh, our website, social media, email marketing, and also search, in, search engine marketing. And the result has shown a significant increase as we can see improve on Thailand website uh, healthiness, engagement on Thailand social media, um, increase open rate or click rate in our market email marketing, and also leads conversion that's come from uh, digital marketing activities. Uh, uh, yeah, one thing, another blast from, from the mass. We have just won international awards recently from uh, Career Community Global Awards. We won three categories, uh, which are uh, Best Subsequent Operator of the Year, uh, Best Regional Data Center Operator, and also Asia Regional Operator of the Year. Uh, not only that, uh, it was just announced that uh, we are a shortlist as a nominee in the upcoming Global Career Awards as Best Asia Wholesale Career. Uh, so, yeah, it's very exciting. The best is yet to come. Well, I guess uh, that was a huge accomplishment that uh, you've done so far. Uh, regarding that, uh, I would like to ask, what is the correlation between digital marketing and sales activity? Okay, Mir. Uh, so when our presence in is known uh, across social media networks and blogs, uh, potential customer be begin to develop trust for our brand and also uh, product or service, whether they are aware or of it uh, or not. So that if we are creating healthy and worthwhile content, we will be seen as the expert. 
uh, when it comes to time for the buyer to purchase, it will be much easier and confident transaction. <clears throat> Therefore, if uh, our brand is everywhere online, uh, it will be the first to come to mind to someone looking to purchase what we have for sale. Now, uh, customer are well informed and do their, their uh, due diligence online before purchasing a product or service. Uh, so that is increased sales with digital marketing is possible uh, if we make the choices for the best strategies. The right action will increase engagement, um, capture the target audience, generate conversion, and finally result in sales. Uh, being an influential and well-known brand among our audience is something essential and positive. And uh, finally, at the end, uh, yeah, there is no manual on how to achieve uh, the increase in sales with digital marketing. And still, there's a list of action and strategies that are fundamental to do. So the next question is, how do you measure your digital marketing activity? Since uh, actually, we are doing not only tra uh, traditional, but also digital marketing. Uh, measuring is essential to know when uh, to make those changes. Uh, as the quote says, if you can not measure it, you cannot improve it. Uh, I feel lucky that I work in business intelligence area before I came to marketing. So I can implement my understanding in data analytics into marketing strategies. <coughs> mm. The pursuit of increasing sales with digital marketing is all about implementing uh, necessary action. Still, they won't be effective if there's no integrated uh, measurement. Uh, its strategy that we have adopted must be continuously tracked, which allow us to understand its effectiveness. So, uh, what we do are setting the path metrics to know the level of effectiveness of each action in digital marketing. Uh, we use kind of tools such as uh, Google Analytics and SEMrush to measure website traffic and website healthiness, and MailChimp for email marketing, and for social media we use uh, Sprout to know all the performance of our content in each platform. Also, we, uh, we develop our sales performance monitoring internally using business intelligence platform, and that is uh, Power BI, and sales management using Salesforce, so that we can tracking our leads and measure our leads, uh, leads conversion. These all data are combined to be tracked and measured regularly, so we can improve our digital marketing activities. Okay, so, uh, actually, the next question is quite interesting because uh, remembering that your background is um, not related to marketing area. So, what is the fun part being marketing and business intelligence VP? Uh, the most fun thing for me is uh, the team. Uh, that uh, the majority, if I cannot say all, of MBI team is millennials. Because for me, the team is uh, one of the main and most important things in carrying out uh, the work. Working in the marketing world is uh, demanding um, that we need to always evolve and follow the, the dynamics from time to time. So it takes a lot of resource that can uh, flexible thing to keep uh, up to date with uh, the changes that exist, especially in this uh, new normal era as is as it is today uh, so i think it's uh, yeah it's one of the fun uh, parts in this position as uh, mbi vp because with the majority of my teams uh, is millennial so there are a lot of uh, yeah creative ideas and inputs input that uh, we can implement as a strategy to advance not only for the team but also for our company so you're saying that becoming a marketing and business intelligence vp is fun uh, do you think uh, there is a challenging thing becoming MBI VP? 
Yes, uh, of course. Uh, well, uh, the challenging part for me is uh, how to utilize all marketing activities itself, mm. <clears throat> especially during this uh, pandemic situation. It's very challenging. Uh, as there is no, no textbook and uh, no manual book that analyze this situation before, like how we react, uh, how company can adapt to this condition. As I mentioned before, we cannot do our marketing activities like in normal condition. So we need uh, to think the creative ways in digital marketing. Unlike uh, B2C companies that uh, can use all digital channels to interact uh, directly with a customer or an user of their products, while well, Thailand as B2B company uh, need to think the right way in doing all market, uh, marketing activities, especially in social media. Therefore, we try to make a different approach with all uh, customer and partners, different approach uh, to different customer segments. Uh, uh, digital marketing is the core of our marketing activities ahead, so we keep exploring what is the right way, what is the new way as we need to adapt with uh, technology change and also lifestyle trends. So in this moment, uh, I announced that Tallinn will have uh, new marketing activities for sharing our ideas, uh, also sharing Tallinn capabilities or Tallinn's values in sharing session format. In formal way, we will launch a Tallinn webinar series. Well, for informal way, uh, we have this program, like we do it right now, that we call it uh, Tallinn Talks. Through this program, Tallinn Talks, uh, we want to touch all customers and all potential customer worldwide that uh, everyone can know who is Tallinn in informal ways. Besides that, uh, Tallinn uh, people can share more ideas to the wider community and hope to provide uh, benefits for our customer and partners wherever they are. Uh, so don't miss uh, our next session of Tallinn Talks. Oh, cannot hardly wait to see those series. Okay, well, I wish we have more time to ask more questions, but it is time to wrap up our talk session. Thank you for our lovely guests for joining us today and for Ms. Limo for sharing the experience and ideas related to digital marketing. Thank you for your time and to all great people, we hope you enjoyed our talk. I'm your host, Miranti. See you on our next episode. Stay tuned on Tallinn Talks, connecting the ideas. Have a great day, people. Bye. Thank you, Mir. Bye-bye. Bye, great people.